Well, uh, obviously we have broken down. Uh, we made it to Georgia Bushcraft though, so since we're here, we might as well do some pocket checks. So I did one of these back at the fall gathering. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you guys seem to really like it. It was a very popular video. And uh, there's some different people here this time. So we're going to go check and see what some of these people are carrying in their pockets. Let's go. Brandon. You guys so may know there. Brandon from Battle Box. Yeah. What's in your pocket? Hello, people. What's in my pockets? Oh, I get to do this? You're the first. I'm kind of freaked out about it. What's uh, in your pocket? Actually, well, no, dude, it's I'm all outside, your, it's like, it's outside oh, yeah. your pants. Yeah, it's my Merce. Right there. <laughs> it's a so, koala bag, right? Yeah, it's a koala bag. Or you koala You bag. koala. I've had this thing a long time, man. It's, it's kind of weird to get used to, but it's great, especially when you're at events like this and you don't have to worry about taking a pack off to get into it and everything, so you just quick have quick access. So I got some sort of uh, anchor, little battery pack here with a wazoo sticker. That's what I got. Well, you just stole that. my power bank a little bit ago. Yeah. <laughs> For, yeah, this one doesn't work. That's actually. right, I got solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> this is old Gerber. That's old it? suspension. suspension. NXT. That's the old one, I think. Yeah, and what I like about it is, the reason I like it is- Spring-loaded. Spring-loaded. Leatherman. And you get- just spring yeah loading. just spring load it and give me some room for some actual drip yep. you know what i mean i've got uh <laughs> it's not what you think so this is some sort of bee product that a guy gave me here that's like um a natural uh liquid band-aid okay wow right. yeah haven't had wow. a chance to use it jim yet. yes jim so yeah. uh i'm sure i'll cut myself before the weekend's over with and maybe i'll give that a shot <laughs> uh <laughs> I got this cool thing right here, the Death Bunny from PNW Bushcraft with a little open nail in there. I love these. Whole bunch of Sharpies. Yeah, a whole bunch of Sharpies. Um, space pen. What material is that? That is a Cerakote. Oh, yeah. So they just started Cerakoting. Hey. Got a right in the rain pad. From SE. SE. Yeah. I always keep a couple lighters on me. Got that one, and then I got this one that I put uh, jute twine, some bank line, and duct tape on, and I always rip the safety piece off of there. Min inch. Min inch right here. Yeah. I love keeping this on me. I just put the typical ones I use the most yep. in there because I don't like carrying around the. That's a screwdriver kit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So it's a screwdriver, and it feeds through. And just like when we were. <laughs> We were kids, you know, you had the pen, the pencils with the lead that you could do like this. So it's yeah. basically that same design. So it's a cool little yeah. piece of kit. It's pretty smart. Yeah. Griffin hooked me up. Nice. With some. The adventure tools are good. Yeah. I like them a so lot. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing around with those. I hadn't even taken them out of the box yet. And uh, the rest is camera gear, man. Batteries, mics that I just dropped on the ground. Thank you. you ah, a, yes. You got a crotch knife. Got me a crotch knife. <laughs> So this is an SE. Can can oh it's a Zula. Zula that we sent in Battle Box two years ago. And it's on, which I love. That's the new That's uh multi uh, clip. Ulti clip. So what's yep. cool about it is you can spread these out and you can pretty much mount them to any any type of you know, it could be magwells, it could be anything firearm related, it could be I mean really anything, Kydex sheets, but you can index it however you want because yep. of the the cogs, cogs it's there. such a great i have one of those on my backpack strap now yes they're great it's for that so good a little pocket knife crkt that's a crkt m16 i think it's m1604 ss so it's fully stainless steel trayvax uh, trayvax i love trayvax trayvax is awesome um best wallets out there in my opinion uh, i can't remember the, the model number. i can't either, there's man. so many things to remember these days my oh. neck knife tops current 1776 edition that's pretty cool um did this in battle box years ago one of my go-to's as you can tell i use my blades <laughs> use your shit I that's right it. yeah um that one's disguised or yeah. completely it's up under the beard yeah it's completely hidden part. you also have a spark yeah i got the wazoo spark there they're cool guys too man. they are they're just they are. genuine dudes you know like 
Well, you are too. You've been helping me work on my truck. Yeah, I like working on things, man. Yeah, he, like he stuff. basically threw away his whole day to work on the truck. Yeah, we're getting there. We getting are. There. And then lastly. <laughs> oh yeah, forgot about that. I got my tops. Brothers of Bushcraft has also beat the crap with some cordage on there. That's Tough. how a knife should look, honestly. Yeah, I have very few clean knives, man. I'm, as you can see how I jumped in and helped on your truck, I'm yeah, like that with everybody. You went all so in. I, I use my stuff, you know, yeah. and, and uh, well, that's what it's for, and I throw it on the ground, you know. So yeah, that's my first pocket dump with best damn edc thanks I'm man really to do that yeah well thanks I've for doing it all those videos and now i'm finally doing one. you're in it thank awesome. you and thanks yeah. for working on the truck with me yeah man all right on to the Come next on, thank you yep have a good one you too bud check yeah this is not gonna be good content <laughs> but it's your knife <laughs> okay i'm trying to help you out i'm throwing you a bone man all right peter everybody this is peter magnan how's it going what's in your pockets all right what's and around in your neck pockets the main thing i have in my pocket is the Magnivore <laughs> that I designed with Corvus Survival. And it is pretty much an aquatic survival Puko. So we made it with Magna Cut Steel, so it's rust resistant, with Tarot Tough Scales, so it's grippier in the water, G10 pins so they don't rust. We put a bow drill divot, so we have ambidextrous sheathing retention. And this sheath is kind of what's designed to be for swim trunks. So obviously these UT or uh, ulti clips, ulti clips yep. go in pockets or on the waistband. And for me, being a disciple of Morse Kahansky and the neck knife, what I have here is a hidden neck carry. And this is some natural cordage that I really like. It's handmade cordage. Uh, and now I'm ready to go serious bushcraft mode and got the neck carry. Nice. All right. What That'd else do cool. I have on me? Do we have to do everything? Sure. <laughs> as, as much or as little as you want. I like yeah. that little knife pin, by the way. That's cool. Oh, yeah. A yeah. little more pin. The other thing I just want to talk about is the uh, Exotac Bic lighter. With this lighter and this knife, I feel like I can survive anywhere. Nice. And you also have... The spark. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Wazoo are... survival gear. Uh, their spark necklace. Yeah, those are absolutely. circulating quite a bit around here today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what's the watch? Oh, you got a Garmin. Yeah, Garmin. Um, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. Six, seven. Seven. Okay. Six or seven. Yeah. I don't remember. They, they all look about the same. So it's very old to NATO strap band. Uh, huh? Packing back here. Yeah, yeah. Look, see, you got more than all you. Right. I did all right. I did all right. It's all hidden everywhere. The Griffin Mini. <laughs> This thing can be a lifesaver. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. And everybody, go follow Peter. He's awesome. He's <laughs> Thanks, the real dude. deal, and he's awesome. Cool. Thanks, man. I, you are All definitely... Right. I saw this yesterday, and yes. I was like, this guy's up. Yes. So this is Jay Berry Miller. All right. Yes. What's in your pocket? Well, of tough possum yes, gear. Tough possum gear. So what's in my pockets? What uh, is in first your pockets? Thing up, palm pepper spray. I was P wondering what that was. I love the, the downward clip, and unlike the other small ones on the market, you don't have a little side-to-side -side switch. It's up and down. I nice. love that. So palm pepper spray right there. See a keybar. So, uh, or not a keybar, key smart. Yep, key smart. Uh, I think it's the XHD version. I got some uh, comb picks and a jiggler mm. from our lock pick kit, our entry kit. More more troubleshooting than breaking entry. Don't ever, <laughs> nothing illegal. Leatherman Curl, I like this. It's uh, about uh, an ounce, I think it is, lighter than the Leatherman Wave. Uh, you lose the uh, saw and the serrated blade, and but you get uh, 0.1 inches thinner. You get a built-in pocket clip and obviously an ounce lighter. Uh, everything else I think is the same inside. Oh yes, one awesome thing is they ditched the worthless screwdri eyeglass screwdriver for an all. Uh, I use that screwdriver. It's not worthless. I, I, <laughs> yeah, it's I my, wish they had the upgraded my... cutters on them. Yeah. Uh, but the curl, it makes pocket carry a dream for that. Left side, I got a Mod Light, uh, I think it's the PLH V2 head. 18350 battery uh, with a therm switchback so I can run it Damn. run and gun I'm yeah rocking a, rocking a handgun uh, but just makes easy out and so that was that was you've practiced that when dark environment yeah. punch someone in the light in the yeah. eyes with that on my belt I have a custom belt pouch I made just money business cards and the like back left pocket my 
Survival Notebook Wallet. This is one of our Tough Possum Gear products. Some more lockpick type bypass stuff. Spare cash, uh, flosser. Uh, just keep the teeth clean. A little bit of cordage, a little bit of fire starting material. I think I have like my fishing. And there's a door hook in there too, right? Yes, yes, yeah, I, I got that too. Got some more components from our entry kit. On the back side, I've got uh, a wa whirl pack water collection bag and some very beat up water purification <laughs> tablets that need replaced. They're <laughs> they're powder by now, but I can tear it open like salt packet, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back right, I have a. This is back when they're bison designs or bison made. I think they're Ezra Arthur now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The number six wallet. Love this thing. Cash cards. That's it. Very little cash. Mostly cards. Mini Bic. It's a little windy out, but Mini Bic. Here's the pro tip for you. Tear that metal strip off. <laughs> yep. And I, my Ranger band that I usually keep on there are degraded. But tear that strip off and you can get a lot faster actuation from Mini Bic. So. Yep. That's, oh. Got the new Wazoo Spark necklace, so pretty sweet little ceramic scraper and a ferro rod. Rocking and bopping. Awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, my pleasure. And everybody, check out his stuff. You got some really cool stuff. I haven't actually got to check it out close yeah. up yet, but uh, we're going to. Appreciate after it. After we're done here. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, you betcha. Have a good one. You are up, Joe Flowers. Right. So what? what? First, thank you, Joe Flowers, for one, oh. bringing us here and okay. saving us from the 7-Eleven, and two, Probably, maybe giving us Sounds a tow like home. Sounds like we're going to be towing back. So, hey, so I told no you problem. he was a legend. He is actually a legend. The legend, we'll, we'll Joe see Flowers. If we, make it, we make it back. What is in your pockets? So I got that a skinth. Um, it's poking out. Normally it doesn't, but uh, it's a skinth uh, oh, made wow. in Canada design with um, an old school CS4. Um, these are kind of neat because it has a wine opener on it and it has saws and all that yeah. stuff in a very compact thing. Of course, lighter. Um, T through night yeah you know they're 25 dollars. all this stuff is supposed to be replaceable because it gets lost um spartan fire makers makes this flat fire maker and then on the sides i've got the wazoo um whistle i um, think it's loud yeah it is and you know it has that uh like um dot dash dot the sos um pattern no i didn't know that yeah so if you look do 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 Oh, so they I have that there in case you forget. Well, D Dustin, you know, taught me, and yeah. then of course uh, I have the Wazoo fire starter in there too. The 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 thing, and so that all is kind of cool, but it does sometimes have to come off. But it's cool because it clips. Yeah, it clips, and that's important because this is a really tight fit. So I'm not going to try and uh, uh, put that all together on, I'll on camera. I'll hold it. Everybody's yeah, been throwing their go. stuff on the ground. I'll hold it for you. There we go. And um, I know this is a little bit less. Uh, uh, um, expensive, but this is a car car too, and there is a reason I carry these. I carry my Emerson um, or my uh, uh, Spyderco um, Indela with an Emerson, uh, Delica, and Endura. I like the car car too because I can lose it, and then I don't feel so bad. And then when I'm like around Blade Show and all, all the expensive guys, then I bring on my Magna Cut folder. And yeah, except for my cell phone and some stickers um in in my 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 wallet which is uh i think alpaca, alpaca. Gear. Yeah. that's alpaca yeah. yeah and this is actually about two years old so far oh. so like the the fraying on the sides is actually done really well so yeah their instagram stuff got me but um of course i put orange on it so i could find it and hang yeah. it up i'm not gonna lie i'm interested in buying some more so uh really cool stuff yeah oh. so that, that's what i'm rolling with here at uh, demo days well thanks man so and let's haul you. you back home uh, yes let's do <laughs> happens guys gotta get home somehow yep <laughs> thanks man thanks there's your stuff thank you <laughs> this is a microphone and that's a camera and hello kelso hello sir i can hold that oh okay <laughs> what's in your pockets um this is bushcraft kelso hi i got stuff you got stuff. Yeah. You've, you've always got stuff. That's what lives in here. <laughs> and then wow. Here well, 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 we got to see what this is first. All right, so you can offload. So we yeah, got a mini bic. Yeah, piezo bic. So oh. they'll work when they're. Back. Oh yeah, yeah. And I got some some waxed hemp on there, and a ranger band, and some, some gorilla tape. And then that's my trusty ferro rod. And then this is a piece of 1095 that I hardened in the forge and made a steel striker or a scraper out of it so it's like multi stuff this is my magic string <laughs> magic string a okay flashlight with a little piece of shot cord on it so you can you can do stuff and you don't worry about dropping your flashlight that's smart and then my little Swiss Army Knife Farmer X 
and a ceramic striker and a ferro rod and a glow bead and a whistle. With, That's it looks like a... Yeah, Budger will do it. And I got a... Never change, Kelso. I love you. I love you guys, too. <laughs> I got some buckskin that I found on the ground. <laughs> And then that's my pocket carving jack. It's just for carving stuff. And then this is my, like my junk drawer. <laughs> so I got a, a little Swiss Army knife. It's got a toothpick and some tweezers and some scissors and nail file and a little knife, super sharp knife though. And a whistle and a bangerang thing that uh, JB gave me and a fair rod and scraper. From, that's from Grimm. Mm -hmm, it's from yep. Grimm. And then this is the plastic yep. cordage maker Cordage's from Grimm. Yep. And uh, I got a P38 can opener and a ring that my kid gave me and another ferro rod and a whistle. And that's just my, that's my junk stuff. Got my watch and my compass and my watch. And then I got a, a bracelet that I made. It's just got, it's got jute and then micro paracord in it and then survival paracord on the outside. And then a whistle and a ferro rod and a ceramic scraper and a blade <laughs> on there. And, Got a bow drill, a uh, barren block bracelet. That's for a bow drill fires, so it it um you loosen it and rock around to the front side of your hand for pushing downward pressure on your spindle. And then the rest of it's just I got a uh, one my daughter made me and one my wife made me and a pot hook on Kevlar to hang a pot with over fire, so you don't gotta make one. And a piece of wire that I bent a while back and just put on and never took off. <laughs> And that's a piece of mastodon ivory oh, wow. from some caveman somewhere, I like to think. Got this. Neck oh, knife. Yep. This is my design that I did with Topps Knives that we don't know when it's going to come out yet, but it's just a little utility blade, wood nymph is what we're calling it. But then it's just got, got a food fit. And, the, the Kelso setup. Yeah, it's my setup. A multi-tool and a micro stream I carry in this dude. This is a ten dollar kit from Hobby Lobby, which is fantastic. I've had oh, for really? Years. Yep. What? Ten bucks. Comes Make with a clip yourself. and everything. You yeah. What's together. the multi tool in there? Uh, rebar. Okay. Nice. Normally, I have a different uh, belt knife I use for the entire month, every month, and then this month it's this guy. It's the Woodcraft from Tops Knives. Their newest design. That's nice. That's I like sweet. that. I reprofiled the edge on there so now it's like you could shave sleep in somebody with it if you wanted to <laughs> i know i got a bunch of stuff in my hat too yeah <laughs> but i gave my all away i had an all that i'd made a long time ago dude wanted it and was sad that i didn't have one so i gave it to him and i keep a ceramic hone and a fair rod and a pair of tweezers and a couple needles and uh, a couple glow sticks and some hooks and weights and uh fire starting stuff and some needles and safety pins and <laughs> <laughs> um, got some fishing line in here. No regret, I really I don't know. I didn't know what I was getting got myself a, into. A water bag with some purification tabs and ranger bands. And <laughs> I think I have some micro cord in here, but I hadn't used it in a long time, so I don't know if it's still in here or not. It's a lot of stuff. That's it. And you are apparently Robert Moore now? No, that's the name that police call me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you, that's sir. It. Thank you. Pleasure was all mine. Yeah, uh, that was a lot. That was a whole lot. <laughs> weren't ready for that one. No, I thought I was. I was not ready. Okay. What's up, brother? That was awkward. <laughs> you want to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> what's Rob, up, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Good. This is Rob from ExoTech. Hey, guys. What's in your pockets? I know you got some good stuff. Phone, car keys, <laughs> nano striker. So that's one of his products from yeah, Exotech. This is one of my product. So this product. Your flagship, I guess. Like, or your yeah, most this popular. Is our yeah, most popular. This is what we kind of uh, cut our teeth on, really. And what it is, it's got a tiny little striking tool, it's tungsten carbide, and then inside here you've got this aluminum housing that has a ferro rod, and you flip it around, and note it's sealed by an O-ring here, so this rod will uh, stay dry, keep it uh, from moisture from getting in there and corroding your rod, mostly salt. Car uh, act of uh, Striking it carves away the material and essentially if you push hard you carve more material if you push hard and strike fast You get sparks off of it um, What's neat about our product is that the, the rods are all threaded 
so they can be replaced. We designed gear for life, and we want you to reuse your gear and pass it down instead of throw it in the landfill. On the new ones, there's a little red strand in here. It's not in this one, but there'd be a little red strand in here, and you would pull that strand out, and a single spark, after you fluff it, a single spark will light that, and it burns like a candle wick. And I have this wazoo necklace that we were playing with earlier, part of the fire challenge. Uh, it was given to me, and I actually really love it. Um, it's not one of our products. It's, uh, it's of course, one of Wazoo's, but it's got this tiny little ferro rod, and it's this awesome little ceramic striker. That and thing is great. It works really well, yeah. yeah. And what I like is this is this is a really comfortable leather necklace, mm -hmm. and then this clasp is freaking fancy. Like, you just push down on this little tab right here, and it's got this cool little ball on it, right? This detent. So it has this real satisfying, like, click. And then I have this Suppressi strap here, which has a built-in fire starter here. It's got a little fire starter. This was actually a gift given to me. And then it's got a ceramic blade that you can use to strike the fire starter. You can pull it out and use it to prep your tinder. Um, it's got a little P38 can opener, which has a, I won't take it out because it's kind of a pain, but it's got a sharp edge on it. Um, you can use it for striking a ferro rod. And you can use it, of course, for opening a can. Um, let's see what else. Uh, of course, you got cordage, and then there's some there's some fishing line under this cord here. It's just wrapped up. I have just a little, just a. I call this my beater. This is this literally just normally gets. It's not a bushcrafting knife. It's meant more of an urban knife. So I use this on boxes, and it's just a cheap. I like to keep a cheap knife on me day to day because. Um, yeah, I have a Chris Reeves knife, but I don't want to beat that thing up. It's too pretty. Yeah. So, and then this is a, a tactile turn. This is which model is this? Do you remember? The Overland. Yeah, this or is Overland. Overlander. So Will, uh, the owner of Tactile Turn, is a good friend of mine. He makes some phenomenal products. This is titanium. It's been seracoded, so you've got the two tone seracote, and then they laser mark this really cool pattern. Like it's a dragon one. skin, yeah. almost, or hex, or something. Mm -hmm. I don't even know exactly what it is. And then over here, I've got a a bushcrafting knife, and this is by Andy Roy. It's Fiddleback Forge. Um, and this is a great knife. So I've modified this a little bit. His spines aren't sharp, so I took this to a grinder, to a to my knife grinder, and I just sharpened this. So and you can use it on a ferro rod and strike it really nice. Um, but this is just my kind of my nice bushcrafting knife. I don't use it a lot because I like to keep it nice because it's made by Andy, and yeah, it's got a tapered tang on it. It's just a beautiful piece. Oh yeah, I have a. I've got tons of pockets. So oh, this yeah. is the fire sleeves. This is one of our products. So this is the Exotac fire sleeve. And what's cool about this is that it's a basically like an auto box for your, your Bic lighter. It keeps your lighter dry and you can dry out a bit, but it just makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to blow on the, the flint and mess with it and flick it out. Um, it also floats. And when you cap it, you can lash these two together and put it on your body. Yeah, so I mean, you can't patent just a case, right? It's got prior art. Um, so we were looking for a way to so do something cool, right? How to be different than just a case, because yeah. it's just a case, right? Yeah. But we came up with this. So a big problem with a Bic, and we've all done it. You light it, right? And then you hold it like this, and it burns the shit out of your thumb. We're trying to light, usually we try to light birthday candles or something. We're trying to reach in a tinder bundle and just light it. So what we came up with is this little strap, and it's been split back here. And this is a silicon-like material. It's actually a TPE. Um, so what you do is you, you push the button down and you, it's hard to do on camera, you push the button down and you pull the strap up to the top and it holds it there. And then I usually like do my fingernail so I don't knock it off and I just light it. And then that'll hold it for as long as you want. Just be aware that that flame guard will get very, very, very hot. hot so yeah. It'll still burn you. When you're done, you can just take your finger and slide it off. Right, Thanks, brother. man. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. And then sometime in the very near future, I swear to God, I'm going to go take that X reel out. I'm counting on it. I want to catch a fish on it. It better be at least five pounds. I've never caught a trout. I want to catch a trout on it. Oh, that'll be a good one. It It'll be, be hard. A big one. And then you got to cook it. Okay. Catch trout, and cook. The trout's my favorite. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. All right. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, Have a good you. one. You too. Jonathan. How's you guys going? may know him as the Bearded Burton. You can going? find him there on Instagram and anywhere else. Uh, All social media is the okay. same. Bearded, Bearded Burton. Burton? Yeah. Okay. What's in your pockets? All right. Or around your neck. or Yeah. So, uh... I just picked up Kelso's new knife from LT. Yeah, the Kel the Kelmuck or Kelsmuck. Um, so I'm of pretty course. excited about that. That was just randomly in my pocket. So, but what I normally have on me is I'm a big neck knife guy. Uh, I like to just kind of be able to tuck it and you know use it when I need to. And I also like a smaller knife. Over the years, it's gone from bigger to smaller and finer details. So uh, in a little neck knife system that I have is uh, I think it's like a Frontier Valley or Frontier First, but they just really thinned it down. And it's in a steel they don't normally do a lot in, a 440C stainless. So I like that, it's against my body if it gets sweaty. Um, and this is a little uh, glow in the dark, a uh, little bead there. And then this is actually some buckskin from Mr. David Holliday. So nice. Kind of a cool thing. That That is actually a really sick 
fixed blade. <laughs> like I yeah. like how small and thin yeah, that is. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's a fun one. Um, yeah. And then I just have a wazoo uh, lanyard with their a ferrocium rod on it. So that's a uh, normally something similar to this is what I like. And then if I'm going to be teaching or doing classes, I do have a belt knife on me, and this is uh, another LT right knife. I, I work for them, so I'm biased, but uh, <laughs> this is the Holy Bushman. So this is like my baby. Uh, I love this. Feels really good. Uh, A2 still. I see the wazoo belt. Yeah, yeah. I'll cash rock belt. the cash belt off to the side. I don't like the buckle uh, underneath here. And then if I'm taking my belt off to get in and out of the hammock or something, it's really easy to just pull my my knife off right there and I can call it clean. Pocket knife that I've been rocking. This is actually my second one because I thought I lost the first one and I actually got the colors a lot better. This is a Demco. Uh, 80. 20.5. Yeah, really love this thing. It's almost like fidgety. And the other one that I had was a serialized one that I got at Blade Show and I beat the mess out of it. Batoned it. I mean, like really did things you're not supposed to do. And Well, they'd probably appreciate that, yeah, right? Yeah. Like that's what they, um, they, they build tough knives for hard use so that's like the pocket knife i have on me whether or not i'm going to be messing around in the city or doing events and stuff like this i like uh clipper lighters okay they're refillable and then i can take this center out here and just have a spark wheel if this does run out i can still nice. get fire yeah from that and then i have a uh, olight zombie i did some stuff with them and they sent me some cool stuff and this has just kind of been the one that has stuck. I lost the other one that they sent me. Then I had the wazoo bandana. And Dustin's kind of mad at me for this, but I'd always try to show it. Yeah, I, mean, I went through and put tick marks on here. I measured out with a ruler so that if I am going to be using it for tracking, I have like a point of reference. Um, that or like a big lighter. Everybody knows that the big lighter is so and so inches. So if right. I'm like, hey, what animal is this? I post it on a forum or something. Now I have a lighter, or no, if I don't have a lighter, now I have an actual point of reference for how what, long. Why is Dustin not happy about that? Because he, because he did, didn't think of it. I, yeah, and then whenever, <laughs> that sounds like Dustin. Whenever he did, he was like, "Well, we have to have so much margin, margin yeah, yeah, uh, for them to print." That's really it. And then I rock their hat. Yeah, the cash cap, but you don't put anything in it. Right. No, cash cap, all the yeah. pockets, but yeah, I don't put anything in it. Uh, if I do, I have like a little bone awl that I made in a class, and then I'll put like Kelso's awl. But I, I don't like like the seeing stuff. stuff. Yeah, it does like it exists right in your periphery, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, and then I can't stand stuff on the side, and so I don't know. Um, but it's still a cool hat. Yeah, and then I just have some bling from Holiday. This was a all primitive handmade out of alabaster. He did all this grinding rocks together and pump drills. Wow. And then uh, he did this frog foot too. So just little mementos, you know, yeah. little things. He's so, a he's an interesting guy in the man. best way possible. Yeah, yeah. An enigma. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Right. So, well, that's I it, appreciate man. it, man. Yeah, thanks Thank for, you. Thanks for asking me to share. It's yeah. cool. And go follow Bearded Burton everywhere. Yeah, thanks. All right. See you, man. Yeah, man. I guess we can just end this with... Uh, my own pocket dump because, well, I'm carrying some different stuff now. Uh, the key situation, it's always the same. I don't really change anything. The only thing that's on here that isn't normally is this VV uh, screwdriver or bit driver. It's just for working on knives. It's a uh, T6 and T8, I believe. Those obviously always stay right here. The knife, uh, I keep coming back to it, the Hogue Deca. I actually really, really like this thing. The bug out. I carried some for a while, but the DECA, I just, I don't know, something about it keeps bringing me back. Um, but I'm going actually pretty light today. Hitchhiker wallet, it's pretty much always in my pocket. Sog power pints back here. Got some AirPods. I'm rocking my Marathon T-SAR. This has been like the daily for uh, a long time. I haven't really changed that a whole bunch. And then obviously my phone, which is charging because it's been a long day, but bum bag. Uh, this thing has been awesome out here. This is the use case for the bum bag for me, at least is when I go to something like this, I like putting more here than I do in my pockets. It's just easier to get to. I don't feel weighed down and uh, I don't know. It's just easier to dump stuff. So I have a big power bank in here because my phone's dying, but we have a utility knife. I do have a Rexford rut instead of my standard uh, TPT slide. I don't know why it's locked in there. I can't open it. 
but just a utility knife. I always have one, literally always. Um, Swiss Army knife in here, which is like the nail clip one. Leatherman, I have the Zippo with the dual flame. So you have a soft flame and a torch. This thing's not the best. This is an official, no, it's not an official Zippo one. It's an aftermarket refill. Um, there is the ratchet driver in there. I also have a pen. So the mini click and OD Cerakote and the other knife is the NAFS Lander in uh, 14C28N, what is it? Yeah, I got it right, 14C28N on that with the green micarta. So that's all that's in there. Oh, and I got a, a patch from uh, Bearded Burton. And that's, that's all we got. So that's it for this time. Uh, it's been an interesting <laughs> show uh, or event or adventure whatever you want to call it the mini truck right up there is going back on a car carrier i believe talking about tail going home calling it a failure and uh or not really a failure but a learning experience and uh yeah everybody can say i told you so but totally still worth it 100 percent would do it again so there you go thank you guys for watching um, go follow everybody in this video i'll link everybody down below um, these are always a lot of fun so much fun uh, even with the the trials and tribulations around me coming to it it's it's a lot of fun out here and uh the adventure is always worth it so thanks again guys i'll be back to normal stuff very soon but until then carry on